Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, if you're new. I'm also an author, I've written two books so far. If you'd like to see what those are about, all the information and links are in the description box below. So welcome, welcome back everyone. This week we are getting our messages from our Mother Earth. Um, I use the Nature Spirit Tarot always to help me get my messages from our Earth, our planet. I'm going to be using the Spirit of the Animals Oracle, the Earth Magic Oracle, and the Gaia Oracle. Okay, so let's see what Mother Earth has to say to you Earth signs. To you Earth. All right, yeah, I'm a little busy this week. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And just so you know, everyone, I'm only on three social media platforms here on YouTube. I'm on Facebook and also on TikTok. Um, I'm doing two around two minute summaries of these readings on TikTok. So if you're joining me uh, from TikTok, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share my videos, all that. I really appreciate it so much. Thanks so much, everyone. I do offer personal readings for purchase. If you would like one, you can message me on Messenger or you can send me an email at the email address in the description box below. Also, uh, if you would like to give me a donation or tip, my PayPal link is also in the description box. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you, Virgo. All right. Oh. Okay, so you've got three cards right away. Not ready to be read. Let's see what else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think this is three more. It is four. You've got an extra card. Okay. Bottom of the deck. The six of swords. Moving on. Moving on from a place that is, you know, there's, well, choppy waters to calmer waters. From uh, a place of upset to a place of calmness. Let's see what we've got here. Four of cups in the reverse. Death in the reverse. And the eight of pentacles upright. Underneath the four of cups, we've got... The Three of Wands. Under the Death card, we've got the Nine of Cups. And then under the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords. So you've got two number fours, okay? All right. Now, the Four of Cups is about apathy. It's when you're bored, when you don't want to do anything. Um, it's usually when your life is very abundant and, um, you know, you're so bored with your abundant life, you can't see a new blessing coming in for you. This is in the reverse though. I feel like you're very grateful. Okay. Whenever I get the four of cups in the reverse, this is like, you are not bored with your life. You know, you have a lot of good stuff in your life and you are very grateful for it okay you do see that that is the blessing uh from the universe from spirit from god that you have all this you know that's the blessing there um however you're not waiting around anymore okay you may have been waiting for something this is the card of manifestation um wands is fire energy this is water energy here so um I think you feel really good about your life, but this, this is when you manifest something, like when the merchant sends out his ships full of merchandise, and now he's waiting for his ships to come back in um, with his money, okay? In the reverse, I feel like this is you. Just You're just not waiting around anymore. You're not trying, you may not even be trying to manifest on your own. You may simply be trusting the universe. You may have surrendered to the universe and now you are just grateful and, and you're not waiting. You're just allowing things to happen. 
Now, the death card in the reverse, Scorpio energy, is um, a stagnant energy usually. But since underneath here, you've got wish fulfillment. I'm thinking that you just wanted to stay still for a while. Okay? Like, okay, so now this Four of Cups is talking to me. This, this can be apathy and boredom and stuff, but this is being still with your life is just, you know, really good and stuff. I think you're just grateful for that. You're grateful that you don't have to do anything right now. Okay? You feel good that nothing is changing, that everything is fine. Okay? Wow, that's pretty good. All right. So now the Eight of Pentacles is working, working really hard at what? At resting. You've got, uh, <laughs> you've got this uh, Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords is about peace of mind. For me you know because the swords is the mind the thoughts energy and the card itself uh, expresses peace okay so I feel like whatever you're working out here it's you're resting okay you have peace of mind you this this is a very calming reading holy moly Maybe you're on vacation and you worked really hard to get there. And so right now you're just really enjoying that. Let's see what this extra card is. The Queen of Swords. Yeah. Okay. So this could be somebody in your life or this could be simply you learning from your mistakes. Okay. This, this is the Queen of Swords knows to be grateful. She's grateful even for the challenges that she faces. She's, she's grateful for all the hard things that she's gone through, okay? She doesn't get bored with her life. So I really feel like for most of you, this is you. And you have already moved on from choppy waters to calmer waters. Wow. I mean, look at, look at even your, the candle here is burning, you know, kind of calmly, kind of chill getting a very calm feeling here all right we'll keep an eye on that flame if it like if the candle wears out I got another one burns out wears out so uh, angel number 44 you might want to check that out Gaia deck want to tell us. Intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. Yeah, you've been listening to your heart. Yeah, you've been listening to your heart. The cups here, that's, that's heart energy. That's emotion. See, you've been listening. You're grateful. Not waiting around I just, I'm feeling vacation. Guys might be on a vacation right now. Whoa, that was hecka fast. Yin yang, creating harmony through balance. You've balanced yourself. Your masculine and feminine energies are balanced. So you're just chilling. Bottom of the deck, sacred journey, life cycles, family, transformation. You've transformed. See that right up there? That's the, that's the star. You know, that's also wish fulfillment. That's the major arcana card for wish fulfillment. But another thing is the design of this star is the heart chakra's star. This is the star of David. So this is your heart's wish fulfillment. Oops. All right. my favorite bracelet green man I made it myself father nature <laughs> all right let's see what the earth magic deck wants to tell us boy this is a really calming reading I could just take a nap 
<laughs> Except I just woke up and had coffee. So. Okay, that candle is going out. Hang on, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and pause. Alrighty. Nice new candle. Okay. Look at how she looks. Look at how these, I'm being shown this. Look at her eyes are closed. Her eyes are closed. That's, to me, it's like this feeling of awe, of release, of relief, relief. You're like, oh, breathe out. Awesome. Anything else? Okay. Let's get this one first. Communion. Okay, so this intuitive communication, you are using your heart to communicate with your higher self. You may even be communicating with nature, you know, which is why the earth is here telling you this, that she feels you communicating with her, okay? You may be communicating with um, a spirit animal or a pet. But yeah, you've com you're communicating with your heart, but that makes it communion with spirit, okay? Full moon completion. We just had the full moon yesterday. So I feel like what this is saying is um, not only is there some sort of completion. See, this is why the manifester is upside down. He's not waiting. There's some wax on there. He's not waiting around. He already manifested. His ships came in. He's not waiting around anymore. Okay, so the full moon was yesterday. And I believe this is telling you that um, the earth wants you to know she... She knows that the, the full moon's energy helped this completion somehow, okay? And you may be experiencing the full moon's energy right now while you're on vacation or relaxing or whatever you're doing. It's really helping you. Uh, the full moon's energy is, you know, the maximum amount of, full, of energy from the moon. So the full moon's energy is helping you relax uh, at the, in the fullest way you could, okay? Ceremony, invocation, okay? So... Either you did some sort of ceremony um, because of this card here with the gratitude, okay? Um, I just feel like you may have done something. You may have lit a candle. You may have said a prayer. You may have uh, given thanks. Um, like if you're camping, I, I see uh, you maybe with some others having done something like this or watching a fire or going around the fire uh, saying what you're grateful for, something like that. You did some sort of ceremony. And if you haven't done this yet, this is saying you might want to do something because you you are very grateful. The, the earth is telling you that she sees that. Okay. Bottom of the deck here. Oh, summer solstice, radiance. Okay, so there's... emergence okay so this is going to be next summer because of some, whoop, something that you did today or this this week okay is that something is going to emerge from it in the summertime and this dragonfly emergence card is all about your true self emerging okay you're going to radiate and and yeah by summertime wow all right, let's see what these spirit animals want to say, and we'll close out your reading. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, follow me on TikTok. Share. Um, comment. I love your comments. Let me know how this resonates. Like, if you did a ceremony, what did you do? You know, are you on vacation, or are you just resting up right now? You know, I, I'm just curious. Let me know. Well, let's see what else we got here for you. Oh, no. Hang on, guys. Your candle went out. I think maybe the cards blew it out. 
This will lit up just fine. Whoa. Okay, so what was that? That was Moose Wisdom. Let your head and mind reach to the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on the earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. Yeah. Yeah, your you your heart is the conductor, okay? You the ancestors, the universe, our planet, everything can speak to you through your heart. I feel like this isn't a device for the future. I feel like this is something that you're being recognized for. Yeah, I'm being shown the antlers. This is like a crown, okay? Your crown chakra is open. You are connected with the divine. You are connected with the divinity of the earth, of the universe. All right, bottom of this deck. Hummingbird. Miracles, you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Look at that. Soars on your shining wings. You spread the miracle of happiness. Yeah, you're happy, you're content, you're calm. Um, you, you are at peace. You are with spirit. Look at this. This is this is really beautiful energy, Virgo, and I just really want to tell you thank you for letting me be in your energy. All right, so that's what I have for you at this time. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you next time.